Howdy everybody, Cub here, welcome back to the Let's Play, and today guys, we're continuing work on the gym. So, during the live stream, uh, we decided on a color scheme, we decided to go with the blue track only around the outside, uh, along with the sea lanterns that are going to provide some light, and we also went with like a, uh, sort of a, a barrier between what's going to be the track on the outside here, and the uh, cardio area, which is going to be this inside bit. So we used some black stained glass, and some, I think this is gray. Might be light gray, let's just check and see. Yeah, it's gray. It's gray stained glass, so it's a combination of uh, black and gray, and it sort of makes like little like uh, mileage markers almost along the outside, which is cool. Of course, we got these gaps here, so you can get on and off the track uh, wherever you feel like it on these three sides. So we got a gap here, gap here, and a gap uh, close to where the door is going to be out to the pool. Uh, so that's cool. We also put down some more birch along the outside, some birch wood. And yeah, uh, we also went with some cyan stained clay in the center. So this is supposed to be like either like a hard mat or concrete, you can think of it as, uh, which a lot of gyms have in the central area. So uh, next thing we got to do is we got to fill up this central area. We got to make this come to life. Got to put down our stepper and our uh, treadmills and also our other equipment like weights and bench presses and things like that. So that's what we're going to get started with today. So let's go ahead and grab some materials and get started building those. All right, so I gathered up some supplies. We are now ready to build this thing, I believe. Um, so I'm gonna build this right in this section on this far right side here. Now, the actual treadmill is gonna be about eight blocks long. Or actually, the treadmill in itself won't be, but the footprint will be. Um, so let's see, we wanna have, we wanna have it probably start here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so we have them, like the treadmill facing this way, so it has a nice view out to the watchtower and the hotel and the river right there. So you watch people like floating by down the river as you as you do this. So I think that that works here. Let me just count again here to the eighth block and we'll just start digging in. So this is where we're gonna put our treadmill at. One of two here. So we're gonna have one here and then we'll have one like right beside it as well. Should be pretty good. So just right along here and then we'll make like a little spot where we can get out at the back. And of course we also need to dig in here a little bit with our shovel. We'll get all this sand out of here, because all this sand is quite problematic for redstone builds. There we go. Okay, sweet. Um, let's see, I want to have one, two, three. I think we go down one more. Well, let's see. Do we want to go down one more? I think we go down one more, yeah. Yeah, we'll go down one more and we'll place down like a, a, a bit of uh, a bit of stone brick here. So we'll place like stone brick down here so we know when we make the rooms below, we can't come above this point here. So that should be good. That'll tell us where we need to stop at, just like that. Alright, so we're ready to start this build now. Uh, by the way, this is a design by a guy called FedEx Gaming, uh, who built this for Xbox uh, version of Minecraft. And it doesn't work on PC, so I modified it to work on PC. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to place down a block here with a redstone on it. And then we're going to place a block up like this. Uh, we're going to need some pistons here now. We're going to need a piston facing back this direction like this. And a sticky piston facing up right here. Um, and so basically what, the idea with this is we're going to have like a little conveyor belt system here. And we're going to skip one, two, three blocks. We're going to have regular piston right there. And then we'll have a piston on this level right here um, basically yeah pushing the blocks out this direction so basically the, the blocks will be like here so let me just simulate this the blocks will be here this block will then uh, this piston will then fire it'll catch this block bring it down to here this piston pushes it over 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 this piston pushes it up and this pu piston pushes it back to this point and it starts all over again so it's just gonna be a big loop like this um, so yeah that's how the treadmill is going to work here um, looks like it's getting a little bit dark, so I'm going to hop out of here for a moment to sleep through the night so we don't get bombed by creepers, and I'll be right back. So continuing on now with the redstone, we're going to have three blocks back like this. And this is just going to come out of this block with a repeater right here. And this treadmill we're going to make faster than the other treadmill, so we're going to have this just on uh, one tick delay right here. We're going to have three dust, one, two, three. It's going to go into a block here. And then right here is where we're going to have our, uh, our input system. 
So let's see if I can get this. We need a dropper facing like this. We need a hopper facing in there. And we're basically going to put a, a button on this block here. And that's going to activate the dropper, which is going to have an item in it. And so that will start our machine. So this button will start our machine, which means we need a comparator at this point right here facing out. So this is going to bring the signal out of the hopper for a moment when the item comes into the hopper. And then it's going to put it immediately back into the dropper. Then we're going to have it come out here. We'll go into a redstone dust, which will be right here. Right there. Uh, so that'll activate this piston. And actually we need a dust behind here as well. So it's going to need a dust here and here. So it's going to sort of split into two different uh, signals here. And we need a default repeater right there, facing into a block. And then a repeater on four ticks right here, facing into a block. Then we need two torches. So this is just basically going to have two torches like this. We'll have a block here with the repeater on default. And let's see, then we need a dust here to power this piston right there. And that's going to go into a block here. This signal here, this dust here, is going to go into a block. And we'll have a repeater here, and that'll be powered by that dust right there. And that should be it. Um, so now, all we got to do is place down our blocks. Now, I'm going to place these blocks every other one. So we're going to have coal blocks and black wool for this one. I'm going to alternate it so we can see it moving. And we also got to put back that piston right there. Um, so I'm going to put this down like this. Uh, let's change that to black wool. And then black wool and then coal. Okay, cool. And then we also want to have a stop mechanism. So I'm just going to put some more red stain clay over the top of this. We're going to have a lever on here that will stop it. So this will be our stop mechanism. And then we also want to use maybe, let's see, let's go with like a trap door maybe on top here. And then we want like some slabs too, I think, to cover this up. So let me see if I can grab some slabs real quick. We might have some over here. Some type of slab. We could use stone slabs or even quartz slabs. Quartz slabs would probably look cool as, as like a treadmill thing. So let's just make some of those. So we'll make some quartz slabs like this. And that should be good, yeah. And so this red one, this red one's going to be the faster one. And we're going to have a green one that's going to be a slower one. So we'll put this right here. We'll put a daylight sensor back here. And this will be sort of like indicative of the speed, basically. So we'll put this, let's say, right there. We'll keep it on the uh, the daylight sensor mode. We could also change it to night mode if we wanted to. But I think it's good as it is. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and let's see. We want to probably put some quartz slabs on the side to make it more treadmill-esque. Yeah, okay. All right, we got an item in there. All right, let's test this out and make sure it works. Hit the button. And there we go. Got our treadmill where the ground moves. You can see, you know, there's coal blocks here, and then there's wool, and there's coal blocks. So it's, it's like you're running on a treadmill, sort of. You've got to use your imagination. Of course, this is vanilla Minecraft, so we are kind of limited in what we can do for a treadmill. But overall, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. So we'll just go ahead and fill this back in. And let's see, we need to be very careful here not to accidentally break something, or something of that nature. Just do that. And like I said, this is going to be the fast one. So we're going to have a slower one as well, like a walking speed one. But yeah, I think that's uh, it's pretty good for a treadmill. Not too bad. So the only thing that's different with the green model of the treadmill compared to the red model is that this repeater here, this was on one tick on the red one. We're going to change it to four ticks on this one. So this whole thing is going to move slower than this one. Uh, and then we're going to also, yeah, change up the decoration a little bit. You see I already put down some green wool. We got some green clay. I'm just going to put regular stone slabs on here, and then an iron trap door in the center like that. Very nice. And then we'll also put a stone slab right there. And then on the back, we're going to put a daylight sensor that will be in the nighttime mode. But that's it. Yeah, pretty much exactly the same otherwise. Um, so now we just cover it in with the cyan stained clay, uh, which we can just put up like this. There we go. And yeah, there we go, guys. We got our... Hold on, let me make sure this is... Oh, we need one more one thing in there. There we go. And that's done. So let's test it out. Uh, except this one should not be here. There we go. Test it out. 
There we go. But yeah, you can see it's pretty slow. And if we compare it to this one, you'll see that the one on the right here will move quite a bit faster than the one on the left. So yeah, pretty nifty, pretty nifty. So now we have two varying speeds of our treadmill. I'm just going to go ahead and repair this as well. There we are. All right, so there's our two treadmills. Let's move on to our next build. Okay, guys, so now moving on to the steppers. Uh, you guys have seen me build these before in a previous episode when we designed these. Uh, but these are going to be... Eh, well, we'll just have to leave that there. Let's just leave the sticks. Perfect. Uh, so the steppers are going to be side-by-side side in this lower left-hand corner right here. So you see I've already got some pistons down there, and we need to put down two more pistons. Uh, so we need to make these into sticky pistons, just like that. Very good. Uh, so we're going to put those right here. There we are. And the redstone for one of these is going to go out in this direction right here. And the redstone for the other one will go out in this direction right here. So I'm going to go ahead and build these. I'll show you the redstone and I'll be back. And so I might as well show this one more time for those of you who didn't catch it the first time. Uh, so basically there's a pressure plate that's going to be on top of this block. That's going to activate some dust, which goes into a repeater, which goes into this dust, which activates a hopper dropper. So this is actually very similar in uh, the starting mechanism that... Uh, the treadmills are then we just have a item in here. So let's just go ahead and drop in Let's say a piece of sand in there. There we go. Uh, we will need a comparator facing out of the hopper here Like that that will basically That'll basically double pulse here. So it'll go over here activate this and then the pulse from this will also activate uh, This torch turn it on and off uh, Twice so it's just gonna extend this and extend this again That'll get us our double pulse, and then we're just going to have this like so. Uh, we're going to have, and actually let's just, let's not quite put this down yet. Uh, so we're going to have just some redstone out like this. And we just need some stone brick down, there we go. And then we just simply need this, this, repeater, and a torch. And then now when we put the pistons down... Hopefully everything will be good. So there's one, there's two, and then we got the stairs, which we're going to use stone brick stairs, I think. So stair there, stair there, step over it, and yeah, sometimes you have to get these things to cooperate here. Sometimes easier said than done. There we go. Uh, so let's, let's try this. Let's try this. Whoops. There. Alright, so now we just have to get this thing to cooperate, which can be somewhat time consuming, uh, but usually it works after a little bit. But yeah, that's basically the whole thing done right there. So yeah, then we just make the second one, except this redstone is going to go out this direction. Okay, guys, so we got these steppers up and running. Let me show you how each one of them works. So if we get up here into F5 mode, walk onto them. Go up two blocks, comes down, walk back onto the pressure plate, up two blocks, back down, and you can just continue like that. Same thing over here with this one, just like so. So yeah, pretty good little uh, little stepper system there, if I do say so myself. Uh, so now that we got the steppers in, we got the treadmills in, uh, we are now ready to add dumbbells, which I think we'll put over here. I think we'll make a good like spot for a dumbbell rack right here. Um, so then people could like lift weights right here in this area, like the main area. And then maybe we also put in like uh, some bench presses right here. I think that would be cool. Uh, as far as this section over here, I want to bring out this wall, this end stone wall. And we'll make like, um, like pull up bars right here. And then maybe even put like a row machine over here as well. And I think that would be good for this area. Of course, we still need to make the front desk and the little snack area. And I'm thinking I'm going to bring out this wall here. I've already brought these stairs down a little bit. Uh, so I think I'm going to bring out this wall here to about this point. So it's not quite as open. It's still going to be open, but not quite as much. Uh, just so, you know, people don't fly off the track. If they run full speed, they don't just, like, tumble and face plant on the ground here. <laughs> I think that would make sense. Anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and do those things, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at what we got at the top portion of the gym. I uh, still have to add a lot more details, but it's looking okay so far. Uh, so when we come in here, we got a new carpet down. Pretty nice little black carpet here. I've also been adding some sea lanterns underneath. Uh, that way, you know, you can hide some lighting and don't have to use as many torches. 
Uh, we have a nice little seating area here. The carpet comes around here. And this leads to the front desk here. So this is what this is going to be. Um, so it says, welcome to Zara Zara Gym. Uh, gym fees, six months is 25 emeralds. One year is 40 emeralds. And then behind here, we got, you know, some spare weights, a crafting table. Need to add a little bit more detail back here. I think maybe like a cash register here. And some item frames back here uh, with some renamed items. Uh, but this is the the meant to be the, the front desk area here. Kind of in this little alcove. It's got a nice little window looking out as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, if we come out this door here, uh, this is going to be where our snack dispensers are right here. So this will dispense healthy snacks like watermelons, some apples, uh, maybe some speed potions and some jump boost potions. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Got a little seat over here as well. Another seat here. Uh, and then you get into the main part of the gym. So this is the main part of the gym. Uh, it's not quite complete. We still have a little area to add right here. But we got our bench press right here. That's what that is right here with the beds. We got coal blocks and we got the end rods as the bar, uh, the weights bar basically. And then cobblestone walls holding it up. So that's the bench press there. Pretty standard design. Uh, over here we have like a wall of ladders. This is supposed to be like a, you can imagine this is like a rock climb or something. And you have to try and get your way to the top like this. Dun, 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 dun. Made our way to the top that time. You can try like different routes and stuff. It's kind of cool. I like it and you fall down sometimes like me. But yeah, <laughs> pretty neat. Pretty neat. Little little wall climb there. I think that would probably be something you'd find in the gym if Minecraft was... Uh, was uh realistic um so yeah we also have these these crafting tables here you can get ready for your workout here if you need to craft some stuff up you know uh, i might add some uh some brewing stands here too perhaps uh, but anyway yeah we have these pull-up bars here now so pull-up bars you know you step up here one two three four five you know bust out the uh the pull-ups there and you have this super duper option here too so if you have a jump boost uh pot you can uh jump boost potion you can jump up and down quite a bit higher this will this was the the one to go for or you can be cheaty about it and launch yourself up <laughs> like this bust out a few reps see if i can land right on it there we go nope still didn't land on it. what the heck come on now what the heck all right i need a new button new button new button let's try this one this one will probably work better yeah there we go that's better whew, whew, whew. yeah pump them out like that that's cool that's cool. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. So those are the pull-up bars right there. Over here we have the row machine. Uh, now this row machine, uh, it's probably the only use ever for boats, for sinking boats. Um, let me show you what I mean by that. So basically you get in these row this row machine, open either one of these gates, get in either one of these boats, and then you just yeah hop in the boat, hit this button, and you row forward, row forward, row forward, and then you're automatically kicked out. The boats return to the normal position, and you cannot now enter the boat. So I'm right-clicking now on the boat. Can't get in it. You actually have to start the machine again. So the machine, you can think of this as like the row machine automatically detects when you get tired. So I'm in. I'm rowing. I'm rowing. I'm rowing. I'm rowing. And I'm kicked out. And you got to reset the machine now. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of an actual... It, it turns the, the, uh, the, the boat sinking into a feature, basically. So that's kind of cool. I like it. So that's the row machine. That's the row machine there. Uh, you guys have seen the treadmill. So obviously, you know, you hit this button. The treadmill starts to work. Just like that. You guys have seen that. No big deal. No big deal. Uh, this over here, we added a jump challenge um, with the end rods. This doesn't look that, tif that difficult, but it actually is quite, quite challenging. Uh, you can see the end rods have a very small hitbox. And you actually have to avoid hitting some of the other rods too. So let's see if I can do this. The goal is to get up to that uh, top end rod right there and then hit the button on the note block. So let's see if I can do this. It can be, this is the challenging one right here. There we go, okay. Now I just have to back way up, over, yes, and then up, and then, yeah, I made it. And then you just hop on down off there to the slime block. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's the jump challenge. I made that look easy, I will say. <laughs> Uh, it can be can be challenging the first couple times you try it, but I've tried it a few times now. Uh, over here we got the this is uh, like a jump height challenge basically. The way this works, you run over this pressure plate while traveling this way, hit the slime block, and then you jump up and then try to release one of these trap doors. And wherever you land on, that's your score. So you got five, four, three, two, one, and then anything lower than that, you get nothing. You get the top one, you got straight fire, straight fire. Let's see if we can get that. 
So if we run right at, right at this, straight fire. <laughs> so I got the max jump height there, and yeah, it's it's quite fun. Uh, once you once you get this down, it can be pretty easy. You can usually get at least over three, three to five, pretty easily. But uh, yeah, just another little thing I put in the gym. Just like a little jump height test thing. Yeah, I got four there. Yeah, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um, so the one thing I'm missing here is the dumbbell rack. And you see, I I, use, I had something here, but I want to make it even better. Um, so basically, what we're going to do... I should probably sleep through the night here. Let me go back here and sleep real quick before we get invaded by some nasty mobs. Like this zombie here. Dang guy. Alright guys, so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a dumbbell system that drops the dumbbell you want when you stand on a pressure plate. And basically, I want it to look similar to the one we have at the prison, so let me just show you that real quick. Uh, it's just over this direction, so hopefully that lands in the prison yard. Maybe. And we're in a cobweb. <laughs> but yeah, that's the, that's the dumbbell system. Whoops, don't want to break the cobweb. Let's just get out of it by slowly drifting down. And we're in another one. <laughs> Too many cobwebs from this giant spider here. Too many cobwebs. But I want it to look similar to this. Um, but actually, when we step like right in front of it, it'll drop the dumbbell. Um, so the way we do that is going to be as follows. Uh, so we're obviously going to need some type of pistons. Um, so we're gonna, we got some pistons. We got some torches. We got some iron trap doors. And we got some iron pressure plates, which are going to be critical to this. Uh, because iron pressure plates, uh, if you don't know, they are quite useful because uh, with an iron pressure plate, when a player or a mob or something steps on the iron pressure plate, only one uh, one dust becomes activated. And so that means you can easily differentiate uh, between two signals because the, the whole line doesn't get, uh, doesn't get activated. Uh, if I were to use, say, like a wooden pressure plate here, for instance, if I were to use this, and put this down here like that you see all the pressure plates light up but with the iron only one of them does so that's a useful property we're going to take advantage of here and also it's useful to know that whoops it's useful to know that um, anvils break on non-solid blocks or non-full blocks I should say uh, so let's get some more clay out here put this down here okay so knowing that um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to have some soul sand here we're going to run this all along here like so. And this is what our anvils are going to drop on top of, this soul sand here. Uh, because if we drop them on the soul sand, let me just demonstrate, right here, they pop into the item form, and you got your dumbbell. And in fact, we should probably rename all these to dumbbell. Let's see if, I don't know if this will stay if, when it, after we drop it. Dumbbell. Is that how you do it? Dumbbell? Dumbbell. I guess that's right. Sure. Let me let me look that up, actually. I'm not sure if that's how you spell it or not. So, today I learned that Dumbbell has two Bs. Dumbbell. Okay, got it. Uh, and I think... see if we drop this, does it still... No, it doesn't. Okay, so it's worthless. We just wasted levels there. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this is where the anvils will drop. We'll just have them... Yeah, named anvil and slightly damaged, I guess. Slightly damaged anvil. But, uh, we're going to have pistons back here. These pistons are going to be what controls the dropping of the anvils. And so we'll have iron trap doors on all these on the upper part. And then on the lower part, we're going to have some redstone torches all on by default, and then we can just go ahead and place down our anvils. All the way across like this. Chiming all the way down the line. There we are. Okay. Cool. Um, now, now we need to have our, uh, yeah, our iron pressure plates out. So let's go ahead and place these down here. We might need a few more. Yeah, we're going to need, like, two more. There we go, and then I'm going to bring this carpet down a little bit more. Perfect. And actually, let's... Well, I'll extend that down a little bit more, too, to like there. Um, and let's see, let's get this one out of here. And so, yeah, now we need to get underneath of all this, but it's quite dark now, so let me go ahead and sleep through the night. 
So now we're ready to start putting down the redstone. The redstone is pretty straightforward for this, actually. Um, so we're just going to need some stone bricks down like this. This is where all of our redstone is going to go, right here, on top of these bricks. So again, only one of these at a time will be activated. Uh, actually, we could have more than one activated at a time, but um, it's single-player world, so <laughs> there won't be. Uh, and now we just place this down. Or actually, you know what? We're going to go ahead and alternate. We're going to alternate... Uh, no, we're not going to alternate. We're just going to place straight up repeaters, actually. So, repeater there. And then here we can alternate between dust and, um, yeah, repeaters. So, that saves us a little bit of redstone here. So, there we go. And then just keep on doing this same pattern here. Uh, so, we just need repeaters all along this line. And then just alternate dust and repeaters on the second line. So, fairly straightforward here. And there we go. So that should be the system now pretty much complete. Uh, I'm now going to go ahead and just uh, put back down the cyan stained clay on this level. Just so we cannot see in at all. Right here, we'll put cyan stained clay back here. Fill this in with sand down here. Just like that. Fill some more cyan clay in here. And let's see, we also want to probably... Let's see, make sure that this works properly so we're just gonna go ahead and put some jungle wood down on the side let's just go ahead and test this out with this one and there it goes so yeah you can see how it sort of pulls it back retracts the trapdoor and then pops it back out it's kind of a cool little mechanic there actually <laughs> and same thing with this one right there this one right there this one here yeah really cool really cool how that happens <laughs> Um, so that's how we're going to make, yeah, how we're, I plan to make this. Uh, and then we can just sort of decorate it now. All right, guys, so there we go. We have the dumbbell section now complete. You can see this is showing you dumbbells right here. We got anywhere from 5 to 60-pound dumbbells. And then, of course, we got a mini dumbbell over here <laughs> with just the one iron ingot. Uh, for the actual structure itself, I went with the, the stone brick half slabs up top. We got some ladders going up uh, over some jungle wood logs. And then on the back side, looks like this. I like that the glass panes do not connect here to these pistons. Makes it look uh, kind of neat with the little little gap you got there. Um, but the thing I'm currently debating with myself over, and what I want you guys to tell me in the comments, is if I should go with the trap doors here. Because I really love this animation. How it opens up and then opens and just pops back into existence right there. That is a really cool animation right there. Um, but I don't like the seeing the piston head down here like the sticky piston head. Uh, if that wasn't there, I would love it, but it is. Uh, so maybe I should go with something like this with the jungle wood, because this also looks quite good right here. So it just takes out one jungle wood and then puts it back. So let me know what you guys think. Should I go with the the big jungle wood or the trap doors? Let me, let me know what you guys think. Um, so anyways, guys, I think that's going to be all for me today. I think that's the top of this gym done now. Uh, now we just have to start working on the bottom portion. So the boxing ring, the yoga room, the uh, the sauna, the showers, the locker room, and also the pool area outside. Uh, but this episode's getting quite long, so I'm going to cut it off right here. And yeah, guys, uh, there will be a live stream today at 2 o'clock, so we are going to um, yeah keep working on this gym here and also be doing some hermitcraft as well. So stop by on twitch.tv slash cupvan135, and yeah, we'll have some fun. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.